Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. It is Thursday today, and I figured because I've been asked this question a lot that I would do a video about what I eat in a day as a person with diabetes. It is almost 11 a.m., so usually I fast in the morning. Um, it just helps with getting my blood sugar a little bit lower, so my fast is almost over, and I am going to make myself a nice cup of tea, and um, I also need to figure out what I'm gonna eat today because today is going to be a full day of eating out or getting delivery in because <laughs> fail to plan, plan to fail, I failed, and I have like almost no food. So, or like, I have food, but just like, you know, not enough for sustenance. So I'm gonna be showing you what choices I make when that happens to me because I am not perfect at planning. And then I am also going to um, take you through my day. Today is a day of calls, so I, um, I think, shared in the beginning of the year that I am becoming a health coach and so I am going through my certification right now to be able to do that and so I have training calls where I basically am having to like sit on the phone and participate in these training calls so um you know, I think that today is a pretty realistic day in terms of what goes on for me and I'm gonna kind of show you, um, you know, how things go. also a Libre ch change day so I have Freestyle Libre 3 is what I'm using and I'm also gonna do a finger stick oops to see what my blood sugars are because I have not checked my fasting glucose today it was a late start kind of day so I just make sure to wipe my whole arm Freestyle Libre 3 is just this one little thing. It's not like the applicator and the sensor like it was before. All of it's in here. And then you can see how teeny tiny it is. It's like crazy in comparison to the old one. And then I want it back of arm. perfectly on the back of my arm and then as you can see my last sensor ended and it's telling me that it ended so you just have to scan once to start the sensor and then it'll be ready in one hour. Okay, so first meal, I'm doing these morning protein bites. They have 10 grams of protein per serving, and it's chicken, sausage, eggs, sweet potato, yellow squash, kale, and caramelized onions. They look good. I got them at Costco, and the serving size is four pieces, eight grams of fat, um, 105 milligrams of cholesterol, which there's eggs in them, so of course. 
um, 450 milligrams of sodium, so a little high sodium there, 6 grams of carbs, 1 gram of dietary fiber, and 10 grams of protein. They're gluten-free. Um, and you basically just microwave them. So, I'm gonna prep those up, get those in some like hot sauce, and then eat those before my call because I have a call um, in about 50 minutes. That is two and a half hours long. So that means that I'm not gonna have a chance. Um, I can probably order lunch like toward the end of my call or schedule it or something for it to come. But I mean, eh, we'll see. Here are my little egg bites. You can tell they're hot and fresh. I also have my Cholula hot sauce that I'm gonna put on top. Typically I would add like some avocado to this, but like I don't have any, so <laughs> we're not doing that today. I also know that people are gonna say I didn't eat them. <laughs> so here's me eating them. I had five of them on here best part about working at home can work cozy lazy All right, lunch is here, so I'm gonna go grab it. Of course, it's like pitch dark over here. I am, I don't think I'm gonna be happy with this. So I got a sandwich with an apple and kale salad because I, okay, apple and kale salad and a sandwich because I wanted to show that it's okay to eat bread and your blood sugars will not suffer for it. Um, this is much smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a nice sized apple salad and this sandwich is humongous um so here's what the sandwich looks like though it's like a prosciutto with like nuts and stuff on ciabatta this is just half so kind of gigantic mm. That's good. Okay. And then I'm at 151. I don't know if you can see it. Come on. 152. Starting for lunch. So. I just bolused. Then I'm going to eat my sandwich, my salad. I'm going to check again in a little bit. So I'm going to go take a lunch break. It's clearly gotten late. Um, I have that meeting and my blood sugar is tanking, as you can see. So if you're looking closely at my chart, you'll see that it looks like I'm slightly above range. I set my range, I think, to just over 150. Um, I usually set it to 160. So even after lunch, after that sandwich and that apple, I was still within the 180 range. So I'm pretty proud that I was able to manage that really well. Um, so I had breakfast, I had lunch. It is 7.47 right now, which is 
a little later than I would want to eat dinner, but I don't really have a choice, <laughs> I guess. Um, so I am now in the position where I have to figure out what to make for dinner. I could either make like a salad for dinner, which would be good since my blood sugar is kind of like a downward arrow at this point, it might be good for me to do something a little on the higher carb side. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, grain bowl. Let me show you. I have this uh, seven grain lentil pack. Um, the whole entire pouch is 400 calories and it is 72 grams of carbs with 10 grams of fiber and 12 grams of protein. Um, and it's grains, which I think is really interesting. So I think what I'm gonna do is chop up some kale, um, take some of the basil off of my garden. I think you guys have seen my garden before. I don't know if you can see it now. I'll like eventually do a video on it, but I'm going to take some basil, some olive oil, um, a little bit of pine nuts, and I'm going to make myself a pesto sauce kind of thing that I can stick in this and do um, kind of just like a good vegan Thursday night meal. So I'm going to get that prepped and ready to go for dinner, and I'll be back in a minute with the finished product. Easy meal, super plain. I'm gonna go eat and then get ready for bed. And we will check my blood sugar. Hopefully in two hours, I can tell you if I'm still awake. <laughs> All right, I'm laying here with cramps. I'll insert a screenshot. Um, it is, what time is it? So that you guys know, it's 10.05, I'll take a screenshot. Right after I finish recording this video, I'm so tired. Um, also, I have a heating pad because I'm on my period. And that's also why my blood sugar numbers are wacky. But um, I'm sitting at 175 after my dinner. Um, and I expect that to go down after morning. So that's it for this vlog. Hope you enjoyed watching what I eat in a day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my god. See, I'm so tired. Bye. Before I actually do the sign off on this vlog, I had screenshotted my blood sugar for you when I had gone to sleep. So you guys saw that I was around 170 milligrams per deciliter, which is above my personal range, but it's not necessarily above. Um, like target range. I just set mine a little lower because I want tighter control of my blood sugars. And as you can see, like my chart, we went down. So I ate that 70 grams of carbs at 
like eight o'clock. Obviously I paired it with a basil pesto that I um, made with lots of basil, greens, pine nuts, um, you know, mixed it all together, added some tomatoes, like some Parmigiano Reggiano. It was a super simple meal, but it was really high carb. Um, I didn't add any additional protein. I didn't really need to because there were 10 grams of protein um, in that bowl. And then you can see, like right now I'm going up because one, I haven't had any insulin um, this morning. Well, I've had insulin, but I haven't had um, my... <sighs> words are failing me. I haven't had my um, mealtime injections because I haven't eaten anything yet. I have just had this uh, sparkling water with caffeine. Um, but as you can see, like during the middle of the night, I was in like the lower 100s. So I just, I hate it when people say, that you can't eat carbs when you have diabetes, it all depends. It really depends. It depends on how you pair them, depends on how you prepare them, it depends on um, what kind of carbs they are, it depends on if you have fried them to hell or not, it depends on portion sizes, like there are so many dependencies and I, you know, get crap all the time on here that I, just like don't eat well and that obviously I'm not doing the right things. You guys saw what I ate yesterday. Like it was pretty normal stuff. I was pretty um, aware of what I was eating. I was hydrating all day. I was drinking all day. I didn't have any physical activity yesterday because it was raining outside, um, which is not an excuse. I could have like done Peloton or something. But I like it just goes to show that everybody's bodies are different and like I ate 70 grams of carbs for dinner last night and my blood sugars this morning were in range. So um, they are of course going higher because I'm having the liver uh, sugar dump because I have not eaten yet, but I'm about to have lunch and I just wanted to end the vlog there because I kind of ended it abruptly because I was so tired last night, but I just wanted to show you guys like everybody's different. Everybody can tolerate things in a different way. Um, I will leave my grain bowl recipe on my blog when I can get to it. So just keep checking back on the blog for it. Um, you know, I, I do recipes all the time. So glad to share. All right. That's it for this vlog. If you liked it or you want to see more vlogs like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.